Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can convert uh, text to speech. Basically what we want to do is to convert a PDF file into an audiobook. So by that I want to say that you might have a virtual book or an ebook, which maybe you do not want to read, but maybe if it's an audiobook then you can hear it. So today what we will do is we will convert the ebook into an audiobook so that it will be easier for you to just listen to it rather than reading it yourself. So let's just go for a demonstration in the first place. So I'll just type like that. I'll just run this file. And as you can see that here comes uh, GUI. I will just mention the page number from which I want the book to start reading. And then I will choose the book. So I've chosen page number seven. And as you can see that I have a list of books. So I'll just choose this book. And maybe my rich dad used to say you can never have true freedom without financial freedom he would go on to say freedom may be free but it has a price his book is dedicated to those who are willing to pay the price hey as you can see what we've shown in the demo let's just get started with the code okay so let's fire up a terminal in the first place and then we have to create the virtual environment so we type the command python as you can see that a virtual environment is being created right now and then we will install the dependencies okay so now as our virtual environment has been created so we need to activate it first so we will try. there you go the virtual environment has been activated so let's just clear this off and now we will install the packages that we need so install ct sx3 So this will be installed in the first place and then we will install PyPDF2. Okay, now as our PyTTSX3 has been installed, now we will install PyPDF2. So we type the command pip install PyPDF2. So let's just close this terminal for a moment and create a Python file. We'll just name it main.py and let's start coding. So as, as I've shown you before that I'm using a Tkinter GUI to take some inputs like the page number and which PDF book that you want to read. So for this purpose, we'll be importing Tkinter. So from Tkinter, import asterisk, and from Tkinter, import file data. Then we will import Py tt sx3 and import by pdf2. Okay. Now let's just initialize the tkinter GUI. So we will name it root tk and then we will give a dimension of this. So we type root geometry and then we will give it. Um, 350 into 350. Okay. Alright. So in the first place, let's just put a label of page number that we will be selecting in the first place. So we write label page. Well, this belongs to the root. And the text will be page number. Or maybe we can write starting page number. And then we'll pack it. Okay. Start page number. This will be an entry. And this belongs to root. So in this entry, we will be just entering the page number from which we want to start the audiobook to start reading. And then we'll pack it. Start page number. Not then we will be creating a label for the book to be selected. Label. This will be from root. Text will be which book you want to read. Which book you want to read. And we will pack it as well. Now, 
what we will do is we will just create a button and the button will be belonging to root and it will have the text inside the button which will say choose book and then it will have the command file dialog which we will be creating in a moment let's pack it first and just write root dot main loop okay okay now let's create the function file dialog so define file dialog let's just catch the name of the book that we will be choosing so we will write file dialog this it will be this file dialog dot ask open file name okay. then we name the book and open what we are getting for the path that is the name of the book and it will be a rd then pdf reader i pdf2 dot pdf file reader and this will be the book now let's take the pages of the book now let's just take the pages the number of pages from the book so we will define pages equals pdf reader dot num pages and speaker equal to ITT sx3 dot eight. so we will be initializing the speaker with this okay now we will run a loop so that it will loop through all the pages and then it will read it like that so for now in range so as we have already given an input from the GUI the num number of page or the page number from which we will start reading so let's just we need to convert it into an integer because probably that that comes as a string so we'll be putting it like int the type casting it into integer and it's it's actually this one start page number and we have to do dot get okay so this will be the starting point and the range will go on to pages this pages is the variable where we have stored the total number of pages of the book so inside that we will name a variable page and it goes as pdf reader dot pdf page dot get get page and as this will loop so the iterator that we have defined in the for loop that is none so we will be placing this so now as we need to convert the contents of that specific page number into a text file so we will need to define a variable text equals page dot extract text okay and then we will ask the speaker to say what's in the text text and then speaker dot run and wait okay let's check back if we have done everything correctly and ah okay i think i made a mistake here it should be extract text instead of extract text we'll save the file and we'll fire the terminal let's just activate the virtual environment now let's run this file as you can see that the GUI has opened and we will be choosing the starting page number from which the book will start reading. So let's choose page number 5 this time and by choosing the book we will be choosing something like maybe Midas Touch. To the entrepreneurs of today who struggle, strive and succeed. And to the entrepreneurs of tomorrow who will see opportunities where others see only obstacles. Visionaries all who act boldly and leave their unique imprint. Their Midas touch. On the economic landscape of our world. Dedication. Also by. So that's all for the video. 
I hope you have enjoyed it. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and share with your community. Comment below about your thoughts and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.